So if you earn $20 per hour and if you work 10 hours per day, that becomes $200 per day. Now if you convert that particular amount into INR, then it roughly becomes around 15,000 per day. And let's say you work 20 days per month and you take weekends off. That becomes 3 lakhs if you multiply 20 by 15,000. This is my story. I went from earning 2,000 per month to earning 2,000 per hour, roughly around 3 lakhs per month. How did I do it? I will answer everything in this particular video. So make sure you remove all of your distractions and focus on this particular video because this video might change your life completely. I did not go into IIT or any big tier college. I come from middle class background and from the childhood we have been told in order to get respect from the society, you need to become successful and be something in your life. So we get very simple path front of us. Complete your school, go to college, get a degree. In my case, I was told to do engineering, get a job and your life will be set. This is what everyone tells us to do, right? And here's the thing, there is nothing wrong with this particular path because this path had worked for a lot of people and it might work for you too. One important thing in all of this is earning money. Everyone wants to earn good money because it gives you freedom and you can buy whatever you want in your life. So initially, I also had this particular goal is to earn as much as money in my life and there is nothing wrong with this particular goal because money is an essential part in our life so in this particular video i will share my journey from earning 2000 per month to earning 2000 per hour roughly around 3 lakhs per month. So everything started when I completed my 10th and went for diploma in information technology. After 10th, you get multiple opportunities. You can go commerce, science, diploma. So I chose the diploma path because I wanted to become an engineer. So this is where my actual computer science journey got started. I learned a lot of things, got introduced to computer programming. I learned about C++, Java, C and all of those programming language. I also learned about some other things such as computer networks, how databases work, what are the data structures and many more important fundamental computer the science concept that helped me to reach where I am today. But out of all of this, my main goal was to earn money. So I was trying to find different ways so that I could make extra money on the side. And one thing in my life I learned is that to earn money, you need to have a skill set that is in demand in the market. You can have hundreds of different skill set, but if there is no demand, no one will pay you. So it is really important that you build a skill set that is in the demand. So at that particular time, I figured out that web development was a booming career. So I started learning about web development. I learned about a lot of different things such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. I also did few projects in my college and built a lot of different websites. But the question was still the same. How can I make money out of it? And while talking to one of my friends, I got to know about internship. So there was a website called Internshala. I went there, I uploaded my resume and started applying for different internships and I was lucky I got a call from a startup company. I went there for an interview. They asked me a few questions about web development and they gave me one task to build a basic website. I completed that task and I got my first internship. This particular internship paid me 2000 rupees per month. I had to travel one and a half hour in Mumbai local to reach office and do the work. It was very hectic but I was focusing on the long term game. To earn good money you need to work hard and build your skill set. There is a quote that I 100% agree. First you learn and then you remove L. I figured out this particular thing early in my life so I was mainly focusing on the learning part. If you are a good learner then no one can stop you. Believe me, if you are a good learner then no one can stop you. In my internship, I worked very hard, learned so many things and improved my skills. I worked there for two months and I earned my first 4,000 rupees. After completing my diploma, I got into engineering college and I've been working in web development for two to three years and I wanted to switch my career into something new. And I found this big hype around data science. Data science was the sexiest job of 21st century according to Harvard Business Review. And I also found data science was high in demand and getting good salary. So I decided to learn data science and become data scientist. I had no idea what data science was. I just wanted that one title on my LinkedIn profile, data scientist at XYZ company. I am being 100% honest about my thoughts and what I used to think back then. So six months straight, I was just focusing on learning data science. I created the list of courses I wanted to do, started doing courses, read bunch of books, blogs, and watched a lot of videos. Learning never ended even after one year and I learned new lesson in my life that I was stuck in certification loop. Now, if you don't know what certification loop actually means, it basically means you keep doing courses after courses, but never really take action to apply that knowledge you learn from the course in real world. I talk about this particular thing a lot on my channel because most of the people are not even aware of this. So after realizing that I was stuck in course loop, I wanted to get out of it. And one way is to do real world projects. Now, there are multiple ways to do projects. So I started doing some projects on Kaggle, 
but mainly the best way to do project is to get a work experience is by doing internship or job so i started applying for internships online and i found one internship at a startup company as a data science intern here i was working on some natural language processing and i had to process some text data when you go to stack overflow you see there are so many questions and every questions has tags attached to it my job in my internship was to take some technical books pdf generate questions out of it and assign tags to it again i learned so many things but here's the thing this particular intern internship was unpaid i did not get any money by doing this particular work i learned this particular thing early in my life that focus on learning part first because money is the long term game after completing my data science internship i got more confidence and started applying for more and more internship after that and i was lucky i found one more internship at a startup company as a data engineer intern now in this particular company my stipend was 10000 per month now earning 2000 per month to doing unpaid internship to earning 10000 per month i had made huge progress now in my internship i learned a lot of different things from cloud computing such as aws and gcp how to work on big data many different tools but more than that how how to talk to clients how the project gets delivered how the requirement is gathered and many more not just a technical skills but i also got an opportunity to work on my soft skills such as improving my communication how to talk to clients and many more this particular phase in my life was very difficult because i had to manage my college and also internship together but it was all worth in the end because i got the full time opportunity from that particular company coming from tier 3 college i did not have any good placement in my college mainly we used to get tcs and accenture in my college as a placement but because of my internship i got the offer from the same company for the package roughly around 7 lakh per annum coming from a tier 3 college this was the big thing so my graph went like this earning 10000 per month to earning 50000 per month so i joined the company after my graduation and started working as a data engineer i worked on so many different projects i used to deliver more than what they used to ask me i used to manage different interns under me and manage multiple projects at the same time again i was earning good money but my main focus was to learn as much as i could at that particular time if you have the right skill set then money will always come to you now my life was good i was earning decent amount and i have been working this particular company for one year and i started thinking about what next once you achieve your certain goal you will have this question at the end what i am going to do next no matter what your goal is once you achieve it you will have to face this particular question so i was in the same situation i had to answer what i am going to do next so i had multiple options front of me one option was to continue with my job second option was to go for the master's degree abroad but i did not find it worth and my third option was doing freelancing one bad thing about my job was i had to travel daily 3 hours to reach my office so i was finding something that required no traveling time or very less traveling time and i found freelancing so i started creating my profile on these freelancing platforms such as upwork fiverr freelance.com after creating my profile on upwork my profile got rejected more than 15 times i thought freelancing will be easy i will just have to create my profile on this freelancing platform apply for the job and i will start getting the work but that is not how things work in real world my profile got rejected more than 15 times on upwork so i kept making changes on my profile and kept applying again and again on upwork and finally my profile got approved so i thought i just have to apply for the jobs and i will start getting the work but that is not how things work freelancing is a competitive sport there are so many problems available and just like you there will be thousands of people who will try to submit proposal on that particular work it's not just about getting the work you will also have to beat the competition and stand out from the crowd i applied for more than 30 jobs and never got a reply from a client i even thought that freelancing is a scam and it does not work for everyone but one day i was just looking for some jobs and i found one problem where a client was looking for someone to extract data from html file client had some data stored on some google cloud storage he wanted to write some python script to extract data from html files and put that data onto some database i applied for that job by writing a good proposal and got reply from the client again i just got the reply from the client i did not get a job i had to go on a call with the client explain him the solution and make him believe that i was the right person for this particular job this is where all the skill that i learned in my internships and my job came to use so i went on a call explained him everything and i got the project and i started working on it and after 2 weeks i earned my first 100 dollars from freelancing website so once i found some strategies that worked for me i started applying for more and more jobs and i started getting more and more client and started building my freelance portfolio i was doing freelancing with my job so i used to do part time freelancing on weekends or on weekdays and mainly work on my job after that so i was mainly working around 14 to 15 hours a day so initially i used to get fixed price projects around like 80 to 100 dollars 
but one day i got a client who started paying me on hourly basis so let's do basic mathematics to understand this particular thing so if you earn 20 dollars per hour and if you work 10 hours per day that becomes 200 dollars per day now if you convert that particular amount into inr then it roughly becomes around 15000 per day and let's say you work 20 days per month and you take weekends off that becomes 3 lakhs if you multiply 20 by 15,000. So the more you work and more hours you put in, the more you will earn. So I started getting more projects like this and I finally had enough work so that I could quit my job. So it wasn't like I started earning huge money right there and there. It was a step by step process. I had to learn so many different things. I had to do a lot of internships, work on my technical skills and soft skills. So always remember this, there are no shortcuts. You will have to do the hard work. Now once you have the enough money, then you will realize that money does not matter, but that is for the future you don't have to worry that particular thing right now so if you're in early stage of your career and if you don't know what you want to do make sure you focus on learning and expanding your skill set because if you have the right skill set the opportunities will come to you so this was my entire journey if you learned something new then make sure you hit the like button that will help my channel to grow and reach more and more people and if you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you for watching see you in the next video